earthquakes, tornadoes, and hurricanes can turn an entire region upside down. So knowing how to prepare for Mother Nature's fury can actually save your life. In this month's issue of Popular Mechanics, they put together the ultimate survival guide. Joining us to share some of these important preparation tips is editor Joe Bar uh, Bargman. Thanks for being with us this morning, Joe. Glad to be here. All Stephanie. right, so oh. disaster striking. I'm glad that it includes chocolate. That's all I have to say. You know, <laughs> what, what should we plan for? Well, I think that you have to look at where you live and historically what kind of weather, severe weather comes in. Um, if you live near a, a body of water, you want to find out whether you live in a floodplain, mm -hmm. what kinds of things are uh, going to happen there. And um, if you haven't bought a house, you want to choose where you live wisely for, sure. ser for serious weather. And if you, if you are already living in a spot, you want to know what's coming. Now, depending on what kind of uh, weather disaster hits or natural disaster hits, odds are it may include losing electricity. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, what kind of precautions should you take besides having batteries, things like that? Do, should you start looking at generators? Because we've seen what's happened in these last several big storms. Yes, as we know, the generators sold out the day after the storm. There, people were scrambling for them. I do think that a generator is a good idea in almost all situations. They come in three sizes, small, medium, large. Uh, the large ones are permanent, run on either propane or natural gas, mm -hmm. medium, uh, is going to run part of your house. Smaller ones are just going to run a few appliances at a time. And those portable ones, people have to make sure do not run them in your house. No, those need to be run outside at a safe distance and uh, with a, with very good ventilation. Indoors. Okay, let's talk food here and water because a lot mm. of people think how much food should I have, how much water should I have? Right. Well, I think that the important thing is to have water's number one. Um, you need at least one gallon a day for just for cooking. Beyond that, it's one gallon, two gallons, three gallons more. We had anecdotal information of people using as many as 20 gallons per person wow. per day after Sandy, yes. Um, so you have, to, you have to really look at what your uses are. This is for hygiene, this is for cooking, and this mm. is for, uh, for, well, totally. uh, for hydration, yes. And then as far as food is concerned, the non-perishable goods. Right, the general rule with food is store what you eat and eat what you store. When you go into a supermarket, the food is constantly rotating sure. off the shelves, so you want to use that mentality in your stockpiling in your basement. And, you know, a lot of people, they, they get the cans tuna. Make sure you've got a, a can, can opener. opener. Yes, a that can opener help. would be important. Um, yes, and we and, and look for a, a good mix of protein and carbs. Yeah. And, Jen, we only have about, uh, Joe, 10 seconds. Okay. We got duct tape here going MacGyver on us. you got to go MacGyver. These are good for splints, for wound, uh, for wound preparation, and also the super glue for really bad wounds. And... Gotta have that together, stuff on right? hand. All right, Joe, thanks so much.